I think the trouble we have is we're all trying to get rich and famous. It's all about image, isn't it? Everybody wants to look good. And people are grinding away at the gears trying to do that as opposed to yeah. being happy. I really think we should go back to basics. Because years ago, every house right, used to have their own veg patch. Every house used to have one. When we were kids, we used to go trumping. Yeah. You know, pinching apples off the trees and stuff. No one knows how to grow nothing anymore. Mm. You know, we just want quick, quick, quick. Yeah. And I just think it's going to get worse. As things develop, as more shit happens, we just build something on top, don't we, rather than pulling back. Yeah. But I agree, like, if we were to pull back and actually yeah. start to, you know, be cavemen again. Yeah. Like I used to work on, like, big diggers and a big plant machinery, and I was a good money on that. But I've stopped all that now, because I make the logs now, and, and I do a bit of CP work or whatever. I'm happier. Mm. I'm not earning as much money, but I've got better quality of life and time now. Yeah, so we lived on like a little farm, a little small holding. So my parents done it up from nothing, you know. And then um, when I was 12, uh, my brother died on a motorbike crash, like he was 18. I remember my mum saying to me, he actually come back to the house three times to say to that to my mum. And she knew there was something not right, but she didn't want to stop him going because he was like going with his mates. But he come back three times to say bye, mum. But a week after my brother died, uh, my mum went missing for four or six hours, couldn't find her anywhere. And we found her in the graveyard, digging him up by her hands. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. My mum actually joined the Mormon church, but she needed that to get over what was going on. Because it's not until you have a kid yourself, mm. you realise what a thing it would be. Okay, Dale. Hiya. Oh, yeah. What's happening? It's all good. Uh, I've got the urge to call you Dale Big Dick rather than Big Dog. <laughs> That would be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've actually, in fact, in fact, this is not any reason. I've got, I've got, I've actually got a microscope. Like, it's my life. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, every time I go to say your name, I just call you Big Dogs. Yeah. So that, that's your name. But Dale Peters is your official name. Yeah. Well, do you Thanks know why we call Big Dogs? Go on. Uh, because I had Newfoundland. And that's why we call Big Dog. And he was absolutely massive. Really? Yeah. Is that is that just where it came from? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, That's big, what we for. so big dicks is not a thing, though. No, 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 <laughs> no, big dogs. Right. Well, thanks for coming down, mate, and coming <clears> up, coming down. Um, and obviously, you brought the log today, um, which looks absolutely amazing. So I appreciate Cheers. it. Um, so we always start the show off with a little bit of a ritual of a, of a gift. I'm sure you've seen on the wall. There's all sorts of crazy. Well, shit. it was last minute, so I had to rush around. To, what the fuck can I get him? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so I was doing the t-shirt at the time. So I thought I'd just do you uh, a quick hat. Buzzing. Because I know that you've had your hair done. Oh, now, yeah. So yeah, well, know. I can't wear it for another week, but <laughs> that's, the, that's, a, that's cool, that, actually. I'm just going to bring your poster just oh, to put on your wall. Well, that can go on the wall, sorry, if you remember. Yeah. Love it. Is that that's, that logo's changed, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it is changing, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've got um, some barbells on it now. That's one of our old ones, so. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice one, appreciate that one. Yeah. I'll stick it on the wall so it'll be nice. So we might have to put it on the ceiling actually because the yeah. wall's getting a bit full. But no, I appreciate it. Um, and now you mentioned my hair as well, I will say this is the first day I'm allowed to do anything because my uh, hair was all scabby. Did you see how scabby it was? Yeah, yeah, did you? Yeah, it yeah. was horrendous. <laughs> You're all right for a bit, you are. I think I'll just go grey. <laughs> but no, appreciate it, man. Thanks for the gift as well. Um, so let, let's dig into your story and everything. Um, you're, let's say, a wise man rather than an old man. I've seen a bit. Uh, you know <laughs> you've been I mean? around. Yeah. Um, but, you know, let, let's let's look at your life story to start with. Um, yeah. <clears throat> where did you where did you grow up? I grew up in a little village called Brumbo, and, and it's where they used to make um, Brumbo steel. Yeah. It was, it was, oh, right, yeah, it was yeah. like a massive steel works. And then that got shipped over to China like everything else does, you know. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so we lived on like a little farm, um, a little small holding. Um, so my parents done it up from nothing, you know. And then, um, like I was saying earlier, when I was 12, um, my brother died on a motorbike uh, crash, like, mm. he was 18. He was, on a, he was on like a Honda 50. And they were going to like um, Lake Bala, and I think about eight of them. And um, I remember my mum saying to me, um, he actually come back to the house three times to say to that to my mum that day and and, and and she knew there was something not right but she didn't want to stop him going because you know he, he was like going with his mates yeah yeah but he come back three times to say bye mum anyway so um we had a phone call that day uh, saying that he'd be knocked off his bike and, and i remember my parents going down there now um to the hospital and they were there for hours and hours we were waiting at home 
And then they pulled up, and you just knew before they got out of the car, you know, mm. what what the news was. And uh, yeah, so I was twelve at the time. So, so did it, so so was he on was he on like road or was it one of the bikes that you went off on fields? No, just the road. And right. and, and and when they done the investigation, there was no tire marks or nothing. They don't know how it happened. You just know the car, but they don't know how it happened because there were no tire marks off both vehicles. You know, just coming around the corner. Uh, but the trouble was then there was no mobile phones. Yeah. And it was in the middle of nowhere, so they had to run to a phone. Yes, because where you live, like this. Yeah. 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 So it would have took the ambulance ages to get there. Um, so um, why why do you think he said buy a few? What know. what, what is, is, this, is that like a bit of a mystery moment or is it a yeah it's like like, like three times he come back you know say bye mum you know and, and 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 she said to him she goes I knew there was something not right you know but she didn't want to stop him because he was going out with his mates oh, yeah. and that you know and it was only fifty cc you know probably only done fifty mile an hour yeah. you know max like but. Um, but as we know, you don't need to be on a fast bike. No, you know you no, don't need. No, to. no, you don't. It's like you know, Daz, um, Daz Green Greenfield. No. So he's got he's, he's amputee from leg below. Is he right? He's been on the podcast. Well, he's one of my good mates. But he's um, yeah, he was going thirty mile an hour and lost his leg. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's so you, 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 people say bikes are scary, don't they? And they're, they're yeah. fast and this and that and the other. But actually, it's not. It's, no, you it's don't the circumstance, isn't it? You know, and and and. And your world can change like that. Yeah, God, yeah. So do you think it he is, was dead on the scene, or do, or is that unknown because of the time? Um, they had an inquiry. Um, see, I, I was still young at the time, so I never went to the inquiry. Um, but he was dead um, like in the hospital, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. Like and and you were 12. Scene. Yeah. And then after that, like, that created like a bit of a stammer stutter for me. Mm. Uh, so after that incident, I absolutely hated school. Hated it with a passion. Because I'd be in school, I'd have a classroom with like 30 kids, wouldn't you? And um, I used to hide behind my book and I'd be sweating like mad. You know, saying, oh, please don't pick me. Uh, please don't pick me. Yeah, oh yeah, man. God, I, yeah. I, I used to panic. I, yeah. I, I absolutely hated school for it. And um, I had that stutter until, I still comes back now and then, don't get me wrong. But it was really bad until I was 17 and I started working the doors. Then I had to talk. Mm. You know, it, it, it made me talk because I was on the door. Mm. So I think that did help me a little bit, you know, and trying to get over it. To, to face to face the fact yeah. of it, I guess, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny you say about the the book thing, because I can't remember who it was, but I was talking to someone the other day about it. It might have even been Sarah or Mrs. I can't remember, but you know that you know that time when you're at school when the, when you were reading around. I think everyone hated that, though, didn't oh, they? Yeah, yeah. But I, I I hated it because I was I couldn't really concentrate and read very well. So then I knew that I was going to fuck up. So I hated yeah. that moment yeah. when it was coming round. But obviously, if you had a yeah. stammer as well, yeah. oh, I hated it. It would. It but there was like times as well where they'd ask you a question about the book, and I knew the answer. But I couldn't say for oh, call. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, because yeah, I'd be yeah. stuttered at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was dying to put my hand up. But I did because I know I sat the same. Because you're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like ugh, so frustrating. And I, I remember going to a classroom, and it was a woodwork teacher, and and he was new to the school. Anyway, and he was going around all the, all the kids, what's your name? What's your name? And I couldn't get my name out. But he thought I was taking the piss of him. Mm. Oh, he fucking dr drags me off the chair, marches me to the headmaster's office, and the headmaster said he's got a stutter. His face just fucking dropped like that. Good. You know what I mean? Good. But it was just so embarrassing. You, just you, so embarrassing. Can you imagine yeah. that nowadays? Yeah. I mean, obviously, fucking hell, that's... And, right. I, and, I, and I think that's why I was I was always in trouble in school, because I couldn't argue with people. Yeah. I didn't fight in. Because yeah. the frustration of it all yeah. would be, fuck you, I, I'm just going to fucking drill you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I think that's why I was always in trouble in school. Yeah. Because I couldn't argue with no one. You know? Yeah, I know. Obviously, it's a big, a big subject. Without going too much into depth for it as well, but this is that thing, isn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking nowadays. Let alone back when you was at school as well. Yeah, there wasn't the support or understanding to understand what to do. Oh no, no. no you know what I mean? Like you, you, you were just being a dick. Yeah, is what they thought. Yeah, yeah. like I'm 51 now, and I see. So then there was nothing like that, was it? No, yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's tough nowadays. <laughs> let alone then. But so you know, from your uh, obviously, let's just think, age of 12 brother dying yeah what did that do to you like emotionally because obviously well we shared a bedroom together and and it wasn't until years after and my mum said to me i 
because my mum couldn't put any photographs of the whole family up. Really? Because she couldn't put his up. Yeah. She didn't put anybody's up. But I know she was grieving, but she forgot about the rest of us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, and then after that, my parents moved to Spain then. And I was 16 when they left. Uh, so I had to go live with my mate. Like, I didn't want to go to Spain with them. They didn't ask me to go, but I just didn't want to go to Spain. Do you think that was a bit of a runaway tactic for, like... It was with mum. Yeah. Because, because my mum actually joined the Mormon church. Uh, um, but she needed that to get over what was going on. Because it's not until you have kids yourself, mm. you realise, fucking oh, what a thing it would be. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, you imagine losing your son or daughter. Yeah. It must be the worst thing ever. And yeah. and it's and it's not until you ha have the kids yourself that you realise that. Yeah, you know, true. Because... Because we, um, about a week after my brother died, uh, my mum went missing for like four or six hours, couldn't find her anywhere. And we found her in the graveyard, digging him up by her hands. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She was wow. traumatised like, over it. And do you think she was, in the nicest way possible, me asking this, do you think she was mentally ill at that point? Do you know what I mean? Was it, dri Probably, yeah. was it driving her yeah. into actually being ill yeah, from Yeah, yeah. Because... Because I was, because I was told by my stepdad that um, he caught her. Um, she was gonna, uh, she was making hot chocolate for us all. And she was gonna put like um, tablets in for us all. Really? Mm. Wow. But I didn't get to hear that until years after, you know. But she was in the right place, and and, and she was never in the right place. Like, like she moved to Spain. And, Prior to, or you mean since then? Since just after his death, yeah, she was never right. She was never the same woman again. It's and crazy, isn't it? Right, because you're a parent, right, mm. and I am. Yeah, you know, and it's one of those things where, where is it? Where is it written to teach us how to deal with that? Do, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and as well, if you know, I'm not. You know, we don't know. I don't know the, the details of your mum and stuff, but. If if somebody's not in the best place prior to it, yeah. and then that hits them, what do you do? Like, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. That's that thought, isn't it? Of like, well, we had the perfect family. You know, we had a nice brand new, you know, a nice house that was paid for. Um, like I had three, um, I, had, I had two sisters and one brother. We had everything. You know, they mm. both work for themselves, and then that at home, and then just how were your everything. sisters about this? Like, what happened with them? Um, were they older, younger? I had one older sister and one younger sister. Uh, but they shared a bedroom together. Um, I don't know, I think you, I think you all do your separate paths, don't you? Uh, I'm your older sister, like she was just about to get married, you see, then. Who, how old was she? Was she the oldest one, yeah? So how old um, was she? My brother was 18, so my sister would have been 16. Mm. Then my younger sister was two years younger than me, uh, so, so she would have been 10 at the time. Mm. It's quite a big difference in age, isn't it, to yeah, understand? Yeah. 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 And, uh, and again, we're never prepared for that, are we? Like, no, you just no, have no, to take no. it as you go. No. Oh, yeah, see, see my, my real dad and mum, they split it when I was two. And, and um, I always thought, I, I don't know whether my real dad thought that I was my mum's new partner or fucking vice versa, but I, but I never had no grandparents, mm. you know, on on my real dad's side or thinking bear in mind that he only lived in the next village mm. never seen him and he's, and he's never once once um, given me a card nothing and, and and the thing that annoys me now I went to my brother's grave uh, a couple of weeks back and there was a card of my dad there wow. for him I'm thinking you'll give your dead son a card mm. but you won't give your life son a card mm. I think but it's not until you have kids I think the thought of me not giving my son a card I think, what fuck type of man does that? Yeah, it makes you sick. Do you know what I mean? What the yeah. fuck? You know, and and, and, it, and it still makes me cross. Mm. Really angry about it. Joe, you know it's funny because I'm literally exactly the same. Yeah. I spoke about this on one the other day, didn't we? Like, mm. so my real dad is a, is alive. Yeah. I've he's never met my son. Yeah. And he, um, my daughter wouldn't know him if you walked yeah. past. Do you know what I mean? She's seven. Yeah. But that's that thing, isn't it? I think what what we have to do here is we have to just focus on ourselves, don't we? Because yeah. we go, hold yeah, on, yeah. who? Do, I always look at it. This is like um uh, like a barrier. So I'm putting a barrier up against what I've been through, yeah. and I'm starting my life with mm. you know what what I know is the right thing to mm. do going forward. 
you know, my my, my um, I'm separated from my daughter's mum, yeah. and I'm obviously I've got Leo with with Sarah. Like, yeah. that's not what I ever planned to do because no. we don't do. No, do you no, know you what I mean? It, do you? Yeah. But I will never ever not be in Nelly's life, yeah. and I think that's that thing, yeah. isn't it? Where we have to remember, don't we? Like, that's what we. And that's why I find it hard to, to fathom out because you're like, doing that. Like I wouldn't, you know, if 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 me and my partner left tomorrow. I would still see it. Yeah, okay. no, no, yeah. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm, I'm the same. But at the end of the day, we're all built differently, aren't yeah. we? And that's that yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, but so obviously you, mo you moved on to um, having children and stuff. Then, so when was your first? I didn't settle down till I was about thirty-six, uh, because before then. I was, I was working the doors and that, uh, like I worked the doors of like 34 years or whatever. And it wasn't the right time because I was doing debt collecting and, and things like that, you know what I mean? And yeah. and, and you can't do them things when I'm you've got safe. a family. Yeah, I agree. You know, and and I wasn't, I wasn't growing up to be a, uh, to be a dad at that time anyway. Um, so I didn't settle down until I was like 36. Then you would expect our first child um, and eight months into the pregnancy, we had a stillborn. And um, mm. we had to, well, he wasn't very well, so we had to go to Liverpool uh, for a check up there. And, and I remember they had to give like this needle, this needle was about, about a foot and a half long, and it had to go through Rachel. Stomach. Stomach, and then into the baby to drain the fluid off the chest. Because apparently what they were saying was, when the, when the baby's like developing, there's a hole in the chest, then that closes. Closes, eventually. yeah, yeah, but yeah. It wasn't yeah. closing, so yeah. there was fluid on the thing. So what they were doing, they were trying to drain the fluid off, Man like manually. Do yeah, it. yeah. But they said it's a fifty-fifty chance. But what do you do? Yeah, you're doomed if you do, and you're fucking doomed if you don't. Because if you don't yeah. do it, and he was to die, you you question you're, yourself yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, so you fucked, aren't you? So we had the needle, and, and we had to go back there a week after. Is this known as a disease or anything, or is, is it known as a thing? Because I've not really heard. I don't really know, to be honest. You, you, you don't really take it all in when they're telling you. But it's just happening, yeah. Yeah, because they're using all these words and everything. And, and, and um, yeah, so she, I went back the next month, uh, uh, the week after, sorry. And uh, as soon as we walked in, you could tell by the, the, by the nurse's face. There was no heartbeat, mm. uh, so we got told then, and then uh, and passed away. And I remember ringing my mum. Uh, yeah, you know, I tell her like you know, and um, yeah, so that was that. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, times like that, they're the moments, aren't they, that really make us remember. Oh yeah. You know. Of, this was your first as well, right? Yeah, and and and, and we had to wake a week, um, one week before uh, they could deliver um, Alfie, and it was the worst week ever. And and I remember uh, she went to labour, and it was like twenty four hours. This labour was, and it was the longest twenty four hours ever. Mm. And um, you know, to so know that you're not going to have nothing at the end of it as well. No, yeah. And and like I say, Rachel didn't want to um, uh, look at the baby. No, but I said to her, "You'll have to because you won't put closure to it otherwise." Yeah, and and I remember him coming out, and it was perfect. It, it just come out perfect. Eight months, isn't it? Yeah, you know, big lot of hair on him, you know, black hair. It's tiny, don't get me wrong. And I mean, mum was there and that, so she seen him and that. And we all have photos of with Alfie and that. Then we had the funeral. But we had to register the baby for the birth and deaths. Yeah. And, and, and I remember going there. And it was only like the fifth day of the month. And it was an A4 piece of paper. And that was half full already. You don't realise how many stillbirths are actually going on, you know, in your area. Mm. You know, it, it was like half full already. Did that, but, did that help a little bit? I know it's a wrong thing to say help, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Because... You know when you feel when you're alone? We, yeah. we, we went through the similar thing. Yeah. I, I said, yeah. you know. I said what made it easy for me, the fact that he didn't open his eyes. Yeah. Because if I would have done, and then I would have seen a soul. Connected and, And yeah. I think it would have been worse. Yeah, yeah. You know, so in that way, I'm, I'm, I'm like glad. And, and, and if he would have survived, he would have been very poorly. Yeah. So, so, 
you know, maybe it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. I don't know. But um, uh, I remember doing the funeral. I got a proper coffin. And I'm fair due to the hospital. Like, like they paid for everything after the funeral. Really? The lot, like, so, That's amazing. You know. So that was uh, okay. So my mum managed to see um, Alfie, and then um, my mum had cancer at the time, uh, so she wasn't very well at all. And um, the last time I spoke to my mum it was about a month before our second baby was being born. And I remember taking like a list of names to her, and mm. um, she picked out Logan uh, mm. for her boy. And that was the last day that I ever spoke to her. Mm. You know, she went to a coma after that. So and and. And I suppose that's what Logan, I, Logan now would be 13, 12. Yeah, 13 yeah. now, yeah. yeah. And that's the only thing that I regret about leaving it too late, that my mum never got to see my children. Yeah. You know, that's the only one regret that I do have, you know. But I guess you have to remember that you had, that life before wouldn't have been the best life. No. To be, do you know what I mean? To be, no. to be living together, would it? Like, no, 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 no. You know, each to their own. I'm sure there's some people that do that job and still have children, and, but... but yeah. I'm the same as you. I'd want to be like finish with that style of life to the yeah. start this one. Yeah. Yeah. But you, so when your mum went into a coma, what? How, how did this happen? Because obviously she was she she had cancer. She was. Yeah, she had breast cancer to start with. Then she had that for a couple of years. Uh, so. So she had the operation to have her breast removed. Yeah, and did that control it? At yeah, it did. Um, then she went back for the all clear, got the all clear that night, and then she came home, and then my dad left the hoover out. She chipped over the hoover, broke her leg, and the trauma set it all off again. And then over the next two or three years then, it just went through her whole body, you know, her bones, mm. and, you know, she lost her hair. So, you know, so she had further treatment yeah, at that yeah, point? Yeah, yeah. just wasn't going. It, it was, it was it just moved to different areas, Yeah, you know. I think once it gets a hold of you, you know, that's it, isn't it? But they say, don't they, trauma is the yeah. worst thing, isn't it? Yeah. Stress. Yeah, and stress and trauma, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's crazy, isn't it? Because I actually know someone, you know, I won't say, but uh, who who is, who's been given years to live and she's well outlived it. Yeah. And she actually lives her life really quite mm. good. And I think that's a big part of it, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you know, if you enjoy life and you just do what the fuck you want. Yeah, it's quality of life now. It I is, look, isn't it? But I honestly think... What people are eating today is the worst thing for fucking cancer. Yeah. I think all these yeah. fucking preservatives and fucking synthetics, I think that is the biggest causes for fucking cancer, I think. Yeah. You yeah. know? Let, I really think we should go back to basics. Mm. Because years ago... Caveman. Every house right, used to have their own veg patch. Every house used to have one. Mm. When we were kids, cause we used to go trumping. Yeah. You know, pinching apples off the trees and stuff. Yeah. No one knows how to grow nothing anymore. Mm. No, it's true. Do they? No. You know, we just want quick, quick, quick. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, and I just think it's going to get worse. Yeah. You know, we need to go, you know, just stop it and just step back a bit more. But there's, I don't think we've got enough power in the world to make that happen, <laughs> no. sadly. No. You know, it's, it, it, as, as things develop, as more shit happens, we just build something on top, don't we, rather than pulling back. Yeah. And I agree, like, if we were to pull back and actually yeah. start to, you know, yeah. be cavemen again, yeah. things... Like, 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 I used to work on, like, big diggers, you know, big plant machinery, mm. and, you know, and I was on good money on that. But I've stopped all that now, because I make the logs now, and, and I do a bit of CP work or whatever. But I'm, I'm happier. I'm mm. not earning as much money, but I've got better quality of life and time now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, and, and that's just more important. You yeah. know, I, I could... I can come down here. Mm. Don't need to book it off. I can just do what I want. Yeah, mm. and that's what it's all about now. How you're fifty one now? Yeah, yeah. So how long do you feel it took you to get to that realization? And before you answer that, the yeah. reason I say this right is because I'm thirty five, right? Mm. We're fucking learning shit every day, aren't we? Right? Mm. I, I'm just going through a stage in my life where I'm simplifying it, if you want to put it like that, because I'm very extreme on everything I do, and yeah. I always go to the extreme, 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 extreme. Yeah. What, what, you know what I mean? Like when, because a lot of people think they're failing, don't they, if they've not nailed their life. But you're saying this now at the age of 51. But how old were you when you realised that that happiness was more important than probably the last few years? That's Mad, it. isn't it? Yeah. So, because, so all these people that are like 
thinking that they're failing at life because they've not yet nailed it. I think the trouble we have is we're all trying to get rich and famous. Yeah. And we're too focused on that Instead than, of happy. Than, than spending quality time doing stuff that you want to stuff. Mm. It, it, it's all about image, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, everybody wants to look good. Yeah. And, and you know, have a fancy car and that. So, yeah. Yeah. And people are grinding away at the gears trying to do that as opposed to yeah. being happy. Like I was doing 12 mm. hours a, a day on the diggers. But I was fucking bored. Mm. You know, don't get me wrong. I, I love driving the diggers. You know, I should love it. But it's the time being there, you know, like 12 hours at a time. Being away from family oh, and away yeah, from... Yeah, yeah, you know. And all you're doing all day is thinking, well, I could be doing that. Mm. I could be doing this now. Mm. You know, and and I suppose for me, COVID coming, uh, are coming helped me stop working mm. nine till five. Mm. So it forced you yeah, to, yeah? Yeah, yeah because the job we were on... Um, well, that had to stop. What were you doing at that point then? Were you on the diggers then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started seeing my lads, and um, Gary used to work with me. I'd put like drainage stuff in, and you know, just things like that. You know, general uh, um, groundworks and stuff. And then COVID come, um, the company that we were with, uh, they went bump. Mm. Uh, and at the time, I was I was like running competitions at the time, so I just I thought, no, oh, so I'm gonna make me own log while I've got time. And I made one, and I haven't stopped since. Mm. Well, that's been three years now. Yeah, how many logs do you think you've made in this time? And just and you know what, I didn't even give you this at the start. We didn't even explain because uh, I got too drawn into big dick rather than big dog. <laughs> but so obviously Dale, for people who are listening that don't know, makes the famous wooden logs. Um, you made mine. We truck. We were trying to work it out earlier. But mine was the second one ever made. I think wasn't it? Yeah. Think Luke Luke Richardson. One was of the first, first ones. Yours. Wasn't yeah, it? and then mine or whichever way around. <clears throat> And then, how many, how many logs do you think you've made to date? I always act like a stupid question. I think about 170, you think? Yeah, about 170 logs. Yeah. And, and, and I've had people from America get in touch with me and uh, different countries, but I won't ship more because it's just too expensive. Yeah, we, we were looking, weren't we? Because that yeah. year that we, I did, uh, Lynn asked about getting them over yeah, to yeah, 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 that was yeah, it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. And it's just too expensive. And, and, and plus, I'd, I'd have to get like a certificate. Mm. Uh, for bacteria, because it's wood, you see. Yeah. It's just too much hassle, you know. Yeah. And you know, at the end of the day, you've got um, Slater logs. You know, yeah. he's he's the main guy. In, yeah. Well, they're over there, aren't they? Yeah. Like, so, yeah. so you know, you better have to get his logs. Yeah. And for anyone who who doesn't know what the hell we're talking about, we just talk about logs here. There is there is some listeners that don't know Strongman. Yeah. But it's the you know it's the it's the famous wooden log that people use for log pressing. Strongman. Yeah. You've got it on your t-shirt anyway. Yeah. Um, but I but, remember um, um, my first time making these logs. <laughs> I just shit myself. I thought, oh man, they're gonna fucking crack. They're gonna crack, and I have yeah. all these coming back to me. Blah blah blah. And it was like, like I was like googling it, how to stop wood cracking. You fucking can't. can't. You can't. It's wood. It's impossible. It's and and, and, yeah. and then I was looking at the slater logs. I thought, well, he's got a crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's got a crack. Yeah. So it must be all right. But the only the only thing with the slater logs, let's be honest, be, because they're more um, established, yeah. they can just keep throwing money at him, can't they? Yeah. And refurb every fucking two yeah. minutes. And this is the trouble. You see, I'm only a one man band. Yeah. You know, and like I've only just started. The past year and a half, having Gary with me, and and, yeah. and it it is a massive help, but more mentally because there's mm. nothing worse, right? Right in the workshop, seven days a week, fucking talking to yourself. Mm. You know, having having Gary there, just blasting just, through them yeah, as well. Yeah, just makes it easier. And and when we first started, when it, it it was um my first ever log that I'd done, right, it took me seven hours with a planer. Yeah. Just to make it round. Yeah. Seven hours I was, I was on it. I remember you said that because then you got a machine, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Was, and, yeah. and I thought, oh, fuck me, I can't be doing this. Fucking every time I make a log. Anyway, so there was a machine in America, a big sawmill. Anyway, it was like £4,000, this sawmill. And I thought, oh, I thought I'd have to buy it. Anyway, so I bought it. And I know when you think, what the fuck have I done? I can't yeah, even fucking use it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, what the fuck, what the fuck have I bought this machine for? So I bought it. Is the best thing ever done. Yeah. It's one of those things, isn't it, though, that you've just got to bite the fucking bullet yeah. because it's going to take well, you to another level. It, it, it's gone from seven hours to 45 minutes. Yeah. You know, just to get it round for me. Yeah. But it's also, like, as a business aspect, it's having that confidence that you're yeah. going to actually use it, aren't you, and yeah. you're going to make your money back and all this sort of stuff, yeah. which is a normal normal fear that people have, isn't it? But you have to step up, don't you, to take that next yeah. level. Yeah. But it's the best thing I've done. The yeah. best. 
It was the best bike I've done. Yeah. And, uh, and who have you made logs for, just for some people to... Uh, uh, we've done a lot of stuff uh, for Giants Live now. Um, I remember Dan, he like, got in touch with me uh, to make that Viking press. Yeah, uh, yes, of course, yeah. With all the logs on. Anyway, didn't give me no plans or nothing. He goes, make me something which looks like it's on steroids. <laughs> I was like, all right, okay. Cool. And uh, anyway, we, we, we didn't even do any plans, did we? Just started welding stuff here. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah that'll be about right on that. Anyway, it was actually 400 kilo of logs on top of that press. Anyway, I, I you know, I like to think I'm pretty strong. Yeah, but I couldn't fucking press it. I thought, fuck me, I'll, fuck this one up. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're going to be able to press it. But we did do it where you could put the logs through the back to adjust the balance. Yeah, you know? yeah. Anyway, so he gave me a lot of tickets uh, for the show that it was going to be at. Anyway, I didn't fucking go because I was shit myself that much. I thought, what if it breaks? Really? What if it fucking breaks? <laughs> I thought there's no way. I, I, that is hilarious. What? So you didn't? I could be in that stand and it fucking breaks. And I thought, oh my god. The whole room's like it's him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I didn't go. I thought, no, I'm not fucking going. <laughs> that is hilarious. So um, anyway, I, and I was watching it on TV. And I thought, don't break, don't break. Feet fucking, don't break. So you didn't go. You didn't enjoy it, but you're still stressed at home. Yeah. <laughs> great, yeah. great one. Yeah, I was, I was watching the live feed at home. I think. No, it's fucking. It was good. Don't fucking break. Was it the one where Paul did the record? It was that, wasn't it? That wasn't the first time. I, um, I think um, was, that's the time I remember. Then the time that Bish won Brits. No. Yeah. It, no, that yeah, was that it, time. That was yeah, the same it, time. So it's one that before. Was the first time. Yeah. yeah it was one before. Yeah. I think um, uh, you had the most reps on it. I think it was twelve or thirteen reps. On it, I think it was. Yeah. But then Paul broke it that time, didn't he? That mm. Brits. Yeah. But you've also made the 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 f- f- what's it called where you walk with the log on your back. Yeah. That, that's what my favourite song is. Yeah, what's it called? The Viking Walk. Viking, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I made that for Will's um, Strongest Man. Yeah. And and the log that we had to start with was wet, wasn't it? Mm. And so I had it on. Mm. Fucking hell. Heavy. I got it on my back. Grinding. I was like that. I thought, fucking hell. But it is a lot lighter now. Uh, we yeah. trimmed it down um, before we sold it. But that was a good event. The things that stuff, isn't it? Because I'm no wood or log specialist, mm. But wood's never the same, is it? No. You've got the grains and sh- it's all imbalanced, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and this is why we can't... It, 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 it's it's very hard to make like a Hercules hold or, or a set of yeah, farmers to be the same weight. Going, yeah. You know, and, you've got to have that... And people that also... It's a tough on one, it. is it? Because people also can't blame you if it's not 100% because it's actually... It's yeah. pretty much it impossible, changes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 But it's like our log. You know, our log was 85 when you brought it to us. I remember you ringing me up and then, saying... yeah. Fucking hell, there! What the fuck? Yeah. What, what was that? I thought, thought well, you said a PB. I, I, I fucking well, haven't. <laughs> the thing is, the people who are members at the gym here as well will, will remember this because it was literally hilarious. And I'm sure other people have done this like throughout the country, but it's fucking hilarious. Every single week, all my guys were PBing, and then I was like, "Fucking hell, something's going on here." Yeah. And then I PB'd on it. I was absolutely fucking buzzing. And then we weighed it. And it was 15 kg less. <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck!" I think you got the photo. So what the fuck? The other things. I thought. I thought you yeah, sent someone in. Wood, what to expect? <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you sent someone in, and they grinded yeah, the middle out. Okay. <laughs> no, amazing. I'm laughing all Love that, it. Really. Love it. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're using the Viking walk now, and in a lot of comps, like Eddie Monk bought it off me. Mm. But when I used to do my comps, I, I always tried to do my events with different events because I'm sick of the same fucking born events yeah. for, for fucking every comp and, and and I hate barbells being used in strongman yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. If, 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 if you want to fucking lift a barbell then fucking do it in a powerlifting comp yeah no I agree I agree you know for me strongman is is an object it's all the ob- all, all the odd object implements yeah. isn't it I agree yeah I know I know yeah it's tough one because I know I do like good deadlift in a, in a strongman yeah. comp because it's top of the lifts right yeah. because because that Viking walk I, I did it off at the Giants first mm. and uh, and he didn't um, go back to me dad but I think that would be good because you could have extended that as yeah as long as you want and, yeah. and I think it's a cracking event yeah you know something different it's just weird and different mm. isn't it and yeah 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 it's wicked true. yeah the strongman world at the moment then obviously you're involved within it a lot um did you say you did Wales Strongest Man? You ran that for a bit. I used to run Wales Strongest Man, and we gave it to Gavin Bilton now to run, only because just haven't got time. Um, but there was incidents, and, I, and I'm going to say it, and how it is. I was asked to run the women's and Wales Strongest Man, and I didn't want to do it because I just didn't want to do it. And I'm brown, 
to say, go and do it for me. Anyway, so I did it. Anyway, bear in mind that they used to have their comps in like a playing field, mm. you know, just on grass. And and I got this comp into a massive arena where we had world's strongest man. Mm. You know, it was like all indoors and and... And the comp went fucking absolutely brilliant. You couldn't have asked for any better. You know, mm. all the events went smooth and everything. Um, but Vinny was supposed to do the scores for me, um, and I messaged him that night. Then we got, okay, yeah, 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 be there. Anyway, fucking next day, come twelve o'clock, he still hasn't turned up. Yeah. <laughs> so I messaged him, fucking no answer. Doesn't turn up. I think fucking, how am I gonna do now? Anyway. Mark Anglesey was doing the riffing for me. So I said to Mark, I said, do me a film, Mark, will you do this? <laughs> Shit bust. Do the, do the scores for me. Yeah, are, yeah, you, yeah. are you no good at scores and stuff? Well, I had that many things organised in that yeah. day. Because to be honest, I, mate, I wouldn't, I'd have to have a spreadsheet for scores. I, I can't. Well, I've never done scores anyway, so, you know, you know. but if I had to, but it's the pressure I would have. Day, yeah. Yeah. So I asked Mark Anglesey to do it. I said, oh, can you do this for me? Yeah, 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 sure. Anyway, so he does it. Anyway, so come the end of the show now, uh, <laughs> I can see... Ben Badger over with him and and, and Marcus. You know, they're all going through the pit work. I think oh, three on it, they must be all right. Anyway, so they sat up and the fucking scores out. I thought, that doesn't sound right. That fucking doesn't sound right there. They'd got the second and thirds wrong. The first are right, but the second and thirds are wrong. And it just created a fucking mass fucker for me. Yeah, I it's got, all going to fall on you. Yeah, yeah. I got slated to fuck for it. I mean, absolutely slated for it. I think, fucking hell. You know, I spent my own money, I brought the show, you know, the show went brilliant, mm. you, you know, bear in mind that I never done the scores, but I got the blame Yeah, but it's your show, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And, 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 and the thing that upset me the most was, was all the lads, because I used to train, um, about six lads used to come to my gym, like Ben Badger and, and, and other guys and stuff. And fucking not one of them fucking stuck up for me. Yeah. You know what to say, you know, I like put a message out there. Well, in all fairness, Dale wasn't doing the scores, mm. you know. Anyway, so after that, I fucking hated Strongman after that. Mm. Didn't compete for two years. I thought, you, you can all fuck off the lot of you. I said, I'm only trying to help, you know, and this is the backlash I got for it all. And that's, then I run Wales' the strongest man again, and that went okay. And then after that, I just gave it to Gavin Bilton to run. Mm. Just had enough. What year, what year would that have been? That would have been 2020... Oh yeah, no. Covid years, I forget. Twenty one, it might have been because it was just after Covid. I think. Forget it. I forget. Was, it, yeah. It was Covid twenty nineteen. Started twenty twenty, didn't it? Twenty twenty. I think. I think Covid did anyway. Yeah. yeah. So that put me off the fucking strongman thing completely. I fucking mm. hated it. You know, Gary, I'll tell you. I, it, it. It fucking really upset me. Mm. You know, in in like a massive way. You no, know? I get it. I get it. And and you know like without it turning into a complete bitch fest about Strongman. There's so many amazing parts about Strongman, yeah. then there's a lot of things that just let it down. Mm. And it's really hard sometimes, isn't it, to get that balance to be like, mm. the, 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 the good outweighs it. There's a lot, there's a lot of shows yeah. that are just ran shit. At the comps I do, we're always inside. Mm. Because the trouble is, if you have them outside, the fucking weather's crap. Well, yeah, if you get a bit of rain, you've you know, yeah. you know, you got to change. It the whole thing. And, and, and that was my goal to have it on our side. And I would say the 2019 World of Strongest Man is probably the best World Strongman show ever. Mm. You know, because it was packed in there, you know, massive arena, you know, it was fucking top notch. Like, you mm. know, we had 34 athletes and they all come out to the Welsh National Anthem, you know, all yeah, like yeah. standing there. You know, it, it, Who it, was competing then, just out of interest? Who, what sort of names were there? Well, I was competing that one, so it was Gavin Bilton. Yeah. On a Ben Badger. Yeah. Um, Badger was good, wasn't he? Yeah. Did he ever win it? Who? Oh. Did, did Badger ever win Wales? Yeah, he won it three times. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then, and, and then um, so in 2019, Ben won it. Gavin Bilton was second. Oh, I can't think of his name now. Another Welsh lad. I was third. Anyway, I, I was fourth. Mm. Now, bear in mind that I was... What was I then? 48 then? 48. Mm. So I was 15 years older than any of them athletes in there. Yeah. You know, and I come forth out, the, out of 34. Mm. It's not bad for no, no man, no. is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. But we ran the Masters with that as well. Because, because 
there wasn't enough masses to have a separate comp. Yeah. So, so, so and how it worked basically, whatever you placed in that lineup, you know, whatever the second master was, you know, that's where you come. So I, so I was the master, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah. So one. you were the first master in that yeah. line. Yeah. 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 No, I guess it's it's tough, isn't it, to have it all split down because there's not enough. Yeah. In, in, yeah. in, in total. I, 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 and this is what pisses me off as well with, with like the strong man. Like, I wish I was doing it when I was twenty five because mm. I was fucking stronger then. Because mm. because at the time, I was I was, you know, this is no bullshit. You know, it was it like twenty five years ago? Well, I was repping three hundred kilo fucking squats for ten every yeah. week, doing the bodybuilding. You know, yeah. I think my biggest squat was like three eighty. You know, and that's twenty five years ago. Mm. That's still big numbers now. Yeah. Well, no, of course it is. Fucking. You hell. know, and I mean, I, if you'd have pushed that from that point, yeah, it only got yeah. yeah. And I was benching like two forty. Mm. Were, were you assisted at a young age or? No, I was on my own. Were you? I, 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 just me and my mate. No, as in like gear, gear wise. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? I, I've, I've, I've never taken shit loads of gear ever, mm. and and I think that's why I haven't really had any like side effects. Because mm. I've always kept it to the minimum. Yeah. But English. this, yeah, but I say in that, this show that I'm doing now, next week, mm. uh, the Worlds, this is the most gear that, I, that I've ever had. Mm. And, and it's only to go on like a final blowout before I finish, you know what I mean? Mm. But it's fucked my head up. Mm. My emotions this past four weeks have been like a roller coaster. Mm. You know, it's been right. Thingy. So I'll be glad for it to finish, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah, no, no, I know what you're saying. But uh, as well, is this your final show then? I think it might be. Yeah. yeah. And I guess it's that, it's that sort of like pressure, isn't it, of like, yeah. it's my last show, I want to put, put everything into it. Yeah. And how, how are you feeling for that, though, like, generally? Because, like, I know we, we said, I didn't, you never feel, you never feel <laughs> yeah. ready. Cause you always think you haven't done enough. No, of course. But, but generally, across, across the board, all your events, mm. like, because there's some odd, odd events this time, isn't oh, there? Some hard events. Like, is like, it a block? Uh, you got a block? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think I'm... I think I can understand with that um, press medley is is that we've got a, a 111 barbell press, and then it goes into a 70 kilo dumbbell press. Yeah. But then it goes into a 128. Yeah. Axle. Yoke press. Yoke, that's it. Yoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it goes to then, 101 thingy. Well, you would think yeah. 101 would be for the. Yeah, yeah. For the heaviest one. So, so. If I don't lift that yoke, then it means I can't lift the fucking block, which I know yeah, I can lift. Yeah. So it's like, oh. But I also, I also think they they've laid it out. I've, I've coached people for this event, this event. I think they've laid it out like that as well mm. because there's a lot of people that will drop out at that point and it will split the pack. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. that yoke press is fucking horrible. Yeah, it is. It, it is. A yoke you know, press. it just moves on you, and you've got to just do it really slow. Yeah, you have. You have. Yeah, it's a really hard event. Yeah. Yeah. But look forward to watching it. It's this weekend, is it? Next weekend? I try it on Wednesday. Yeah. And I think it's Friday the first event. Yeah. But like I say, I, I've 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 won quite a few shows now. Uh, like I won the Ultimate uh, UK's in 2016. I I've won Britain's uh, Britain's Strongest Man. Um, mm. That was against John Pollock. Nice. And I've been trying to beat John for years. Like you know. Mm. Absolutely fantastic guy. I love him to bits. Like, but we've done Europe's together, and we both finished on the same points. But, Count back. Yeah, yeah, but he won it because he won the last event. He yeah. Was like, Fucking hell. Anyway, so we had um, Britain's next, and and I had to win the stones, and he's fucking good at stones. Yeah. And it was one forty stone for reps, and it was, it was on top of a of a fourteen inch um, beer barrel, and we both lifted. Eight stones each, so it worked out. We were lifting a stone every eight seconds. Exactly the same. Yeah, and, and <laughs> if you ever watched a video of it, man, it was a battle. You know, we were side by side, side by yeah. side, side by side, and the whole crowd was. Oh, that was insane. one of the best events I've yeah. ever had. So you won that. Yeah. How did you win that? If you hit the same thing, or were you just quicker at it, or the time cut off? I think I was one point ahead at the time. So, so I had so to you draw get the same, same keeping, yeah, yeah, got yeah, got you, yeah. Got you. But yeah, yeah that was that was that's what to remember, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, especially against John Pollock, he's probably one of the best masters going, yeah, you yeah. know. And 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 to be competing against mm. him and you know, actually beating him for once, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that wasn't so, something to take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what will you do at the? So this year, obviously, you're gonna 
uh, compete. But what will you look at doing like next year then? Um, I'm probably going to die down after this show. Um, just get a bit more shape. Like, yeah. like, like I'm into cold dipping at the moment. Yeah. You know, I think it's a massive benefit. And I just love it. I, but not but not just going in a tank. Like where we live in the hills. You know, like we go up to like Snowdonia. Yeah. And we go to nature, different places. And it's just absolutely brilliant. It just yeah. clears your head and... and well, you just feel great after it. Yeah. You know? I've been doing that now the past 12 months. When do you go out of interest? Morning, night? What would you do? It just depends what I'm working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like have we done a, um, like a night dip before now? You know, they're good. Yeah. Or you know, something different. You know, we've done it with the snow on the ground. You know, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You know, but... Um, I think things like that as well, it's massive about the whole just mindset pushing, isn't it? Like, yeah. people don't do enough of that. No. No, you know, it, no. it and it's taking yourself just completely out of your comfort zone. Well, I was noticed like when I was training with Ben and when he was in the Giants, I go to the Giants shows. We used to train like five days a week, mm. and anyway, we had to just stop it to three then because you were lifting that heavy all the time. Yeah, and your body just couldn't do it yeah. all the time, so we knocked it down to three days a week strong man, and then just accessory work uh, the other two days. Yeah, because they become recovery stuff, yeah. don't and, they? Yeah. And it just worked brilliant. And yeah. and. I remember when Ben done, uh, and we come second in the Giants at that time. Yeah. Um, I think that was Britain's, wasn't it? That was the log one, wasn't it, where he just fucking, he was insane on the log. Was it a log medley, that one? I've got some visions back uh, from when... Well, I can't remember which one it was, but I think it was um, um, a Britain's comp. And, and um, I remember getting interviewed um, a few hours before the show. Well, where do you think Ben's, where Ben's going to come? Anyway. I know what Ben's like typical. Like ben was never, never good on one event, but he was good on, on a mall across the board. Yeah, yeah he was he, he was fast as well, yeah. and that's what we'd been training. And um, and I got interviewed. Oh, where do you think Ben would come? I said, oh, he's definitely in the top four, I reckon. Mm. And they fucking laughed at me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, because you had some good names there, didn't you? Yeah. You know. Anyway, but I knew what Ben had been fucking doing. Mm. I remember we went into the arena, and me and Ben went into the rafters, and we were there talking with him. I said, you fucking here now. You need to show what you can do. Mm. And um, anyway, he, he was just smashing it. You know, he was, he was in the top three all the way through it. Anyway, so it comes to the stones now, you know, where he could fucking win it. Yeah. He was in like second place. Anyway, but did you know that they didn't even film him on any of the events? They had to get his film oh, guy. Oh, really? Wow. Just because they weren't focused yeah, on yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they think he wasn't going to do nothing. <laughs> Shit. So they had no footage at all of him. And I remember him coming second. Did he finish the show second? Yeah, then? yeah. Wow. And I was even crying. I was always like a bush and a yeah, fucking yeah, hell. Yeah. But yeah, they just didn't believe what he could funny, do. That is funny, isn't it? You know? Yeah. No, I remember when he, when I seen him on the scene, I was I was a bit like fucking. I lose this guy because mm. he was he was insane, wasn't he? At one point. Yeah, yeah. What 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 actually happened to him? Well, we went back to well, <laughs> we went back to the next show, and I mean, him had words um, because because he'd won these shows, you know, and I, I suppose you know everybody gets a bit. Oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like this and that now because I. No one and that. Mm. And I remember saying to Ben, because when he wasn't training at our place, he was going to other gyms, mm. but he was like pulling weight, like, I say showing off, but he was just showing what he could do. Yeah, 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 you know? pushing, yeah. And, and I remember him going to this gym, and he told me about it, and um, he pulled a 400, but it was on a ship bar, so as he's pulled it, it's gone boing. Yeah. It was fucking shaking. And this was two weeks out from the comp now. And then in the same week, um, I think he went to Strom mm. to um, uh, to do some uh, squats. And I think he squatted like a, like a 350. Well, Ben has never done a 350. Mm. And I was watching the video. I can see on the video that he goes just a little bit forward. Mm. Anyway, so I remember seeing to Rick. I know it's coming up now. That's where he's back. Well, yeah. I think it was the start of it. Yeah. I remember saying to Rick, I said, why'd you let him do that for Rick? Oh, why? I said, one, he hasn't got fucking squats in the comp. Two, he's fucking two weeks out from the comp. Mm. And he fucking doesn't need to be doing fucking any training. He's doing all the training in our place, mm. you know, in Big Dogs. Anyway, so we thought nothing of it. So we're in the back now. 
warming up, and with all on dead, so I put his suit on for him. Anyway, so he gets a 280, and everybody had like stopped at 280 because the final lift is like a 320. Mm. And so I had to go over of something, and I remember walking back to him, and he's on the fucking floor. He's just trying to do a fucking 320 deadlift. Well, I haven't even fucking tightened in the fucking suit. Mm. So whether he's done it without the fucking suit being tightened, I don't know. Mm. But he's on the floor now in fucking agony. So what have you done? So why are you even doing a 324 anyway? No other fucker is doing it. Mm. Anyway, so that was it really. I remember that gone. show because I was there yeah. and I remember them saying he's literally on the floor in the back and he's, yeah. he's yeah. yeah. It was a shame. He actually came out and that was, I think that was the day he blasted the log. He, yeah. I think he, he, whether he won it or he just, yeah, he did well on the log. I think he, 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 he might have won the yeah, event. Yeah. He, he was always good on log. Yeah. You know, but it was the medley one. I'm sure he, he either won it or he was one of yeah. the top two or something like that. Yeah. And then I think the next event was deadlift and he was like, yeah. Oh. And, it, and it's, that's such a shame because he was a fucking good athlete. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and I just think if he would have been a little bit smarter, he, he'd still be there now. You know, yeah. Up, up with the rest of them no I agree but as well like you know coming slightly away from that like strongman there's there's just so much now isn't there to be taking on <laughs> do you know what I mean there's there's so many different weight categories there's so many different people running competitions you know there's there's I guess there's people trying to be something too quick because yeah. they're sick do you know what I mean it's yeah. It's like obviously you know I I, I coach still I mean I've, I've brought my online coaching right right down just because yeah. I'm focusing on other parts of the business at the minute but like the guys that I'm coaching now I'm just making sure that they're in it for the long run yeah do you know what I mean because there's, there's, I think there's too many people that are trying to just be the best right now yeah because they've seen a sprinkle of dust yeah and my policy now when I train if it doesn't feel right and I feel like mm, you know got like a bit of a niggle. Yeah, call just walk it. away. Just yeah. walk away. I'll, yeah. I'll fuck back tomorrow. Do you think that's a really good a bit of advice for, let's say, a over forty year old? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you've you've got to listen to your body. Yeah, and, you and, have. and like I've done like two and a half months of hard training now, and I went for my last session um, a few days back. I think it was shit. But it's just my body saying, "I'm fucked, mate." Yeah, I'm ready. But you ready to rest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. fucked, and, and and it's so hard as well because your mind's saying, "Fucking do something, do mm. something." But you, but you can't. You've got to fucking just rest your body. Because mm. two weeks prior to that, I didn't do dead at all, and then when I went back to dead, I had a fucking brilliant fucking session. Yeah, got me numbers that I wanted. Yeah, and it's all because I rested. Yeah, it just proves, isn't it? Mm. Well, I would always. I mean, there's a few things I say for the over forty, yeah. you know, sort of. <laughs> guys and, and women like mm. but one of the things I, I do favor is alternate deadlift weeks yeah and that's probably what you're saying there isn't it because yeah you know it, on the alternate mm. week as well do some muscle groups that are similar to it like you know you might do some leg press or do you yeah. know what I mean but I, I believe in that system yeah. if I'm honest I mean I'm only 35 but I do that for myself yeah. you know just because you have to recover don't you there's no point in trying to grind at you, the gears you can't do a PB every week no if you can no you know, it'll just wreck you. But it's funny, isn't it? Because obviously, you know, you, you, you've got so many young athletes now who are PBing every week, and it's great. Yeah. And it's great for them at that time. It's great, yeah. you know, um, confidence. But it's just, they don't understand until it happens where you say you need to fucking slow down. Because yeah. it's just going to hit you, isn't it? But I'm like saying that, though, like I said to you earlier, like I didn't start strong until I was like 42. Mm. And when that first year, I got to the world. So yeah. it can be done. Yeah, you know what I mean, and 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 you just got to put the work in. And for me to, to still be going now at fifty one, like like I won Britain's over forties, and yeah. I won Britain's over fifty, so I've got the two titles. Yeah, you know, so so for me at fifty one to still be doing what I'm doing, like I see my friends now, and I haven't fucking done do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're overweight and that, and I do think weight training over the years has for helped me stay fit. How's it helped? I hope we stay fit. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But, again, it's being smart, isn't it, and listening to your body as you go through. Yeah, yeah. Like, like when I'd done Britain's, um, I think it was the second to last event. On, on the Viking walk, I fucking pulled my knee out. Mm. Oh, fucking hell. You know, so I couldn't walk properly. And then I had, like, stones to do. And I always remember now, and the guy I was with, and I can't remember his name now, I believe he was on stones with me. And he was like 26 stone, you know, like a big chap. And I remember him saying to me, he goes, um, 
I hope you're fucking good at the stones. And I thought... He said that to you? Yeah, I thought, <laughs> fuck, he must be good at stones if he's fucking saying that to me. And I hadn't fucking done a 160 for a... F- like a long time, you know what I mean? I thought, fucking hell, I'm going to have to fucking go for it now, aren't I? <laughs> All mind games, though. Yeah. So the fucking whistle went, and I was like, get the first one up. Which is 100 key. Get the 120 up. Get the 140 up. Anyway, I get the 160 up. I can look to my left. He hasn't even got the first one up yet. <laughs> I'm thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> you know. But I think it's harder for a big guy who's 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 got a bit of weight on him yeah. to bend down to get the 100 because yeah, it's a small yeah. stone. Yeah. And I just think that he couldn't bend down. Yeah. Was he meant to be good then? Is it? Was that just a, he just fucked it up? Well, whether he was fucking my head, I, I don't know. That's but, what I'm going to work out. Was he meant to be good or was he just yeah, trying to screw you? No, that's what he says to be good. <laughs> Oh, you were fucking good at stones. I thought, fucking, he must be shit up on stones if you say that to me. <laughs> well, obviously, you got the right result, but the lesson there is it don't fucking yeah. matter, does it? But I do generally think that I won that comp because I was fitter yeah. than all of them. Yeah. Like, I think I won it by 10 points clear. Let's let's be honest, though. This is a this is a bit of a statement to make, but I'm, I'll stand by it. Mm. Technically, mm. not technically, sorry. Typically, the older you are, the unfitter you are. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So if you can work harder on staying fit, you you yeah. do you know what I mean? You you've given you've given yourself a big adv- advantage there because typically when people get older, they just get more unfit because they can't be asked to fucking do it. Yeah. You know, and if you have that mindset, what yeah. you had there, it's gonna win. Like every time I do like uh, a strong one uh, training, I'll always finish with like a forty minute, uh, uh, forty five minute walk after. Yeah. And the past couple of weeks, I've been going up Dennis Brown, which is like a castle, mm. you know, up a hill. And and uh, it's a funny story because I went with my son, and I've always beaten my son to the top of this hill. Mm. And he's like thirteen now. Anyway, he was fucking waiting for me this time. Yeah, and, <laughs> I, and just made me realise. I thought he's not a boy anymore. Yeah, he, he's like you're not slipping though. He's getting fit. Yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> fucking, he's waiting for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah. yeah, no, I love it. So just to sort of like wrap up on things for today, then um, you're do what you, work wise now. You're doing close protection. I do that on the side now, yes. So, so for the past two years, uh, we've been looking after um, Ryan Reynolds, and mm. he's been bringing like a few guests with him, like um, Hugh Jackman, and Will Farrell, who's a great guy. Mm. You, you know, he really is funny. Like, it's really tough for me because I'm nodding and I'm not know who these are. <laughs> I, I've heard, I've heard yeah. the names, but I just, I'm just not good at. at Let's say Ryan Reynolds. Actors. And then he's Wrexham Football Club. Yeah. Uh, so he's down there most times now. So every time he comes over, yeah. Uh, my two of us who look after him. Mm. So uh, you're playing clothes. Yeah. 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 Combed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Like the CP work, I've I've been doing that on and off now for 25 years. Yeah. Um, I want, and one of the jobs that we've done, we were looking after um, like some royal Arab my family up in Monaco. Yeah. And it was a five-week job. Yeah. Anyway, I was I was I was talking to the guy who used to work for the Queen, mm. and his job was to dress this prince up. He's like only in his thirties, as the prince was, and he dressed him up in the morning. And, and the room he was in was like shit, like a fifty pence piece. But all, yeah, but it was all mirrored. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I got told to him, put, kind of, like. Um, Got on quite well with him. Uh, anyway, he goes, um, yeah, this prince, he goes, yeah, uh, this is like 25 years ago now. He goes, yeah, this prince has his own box shorts made for him up in Switzerland. I said, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he goes, these boxer shorts are like 45 quid each. He only ever wears them once and he throws them away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so he worked out, he spends like 14 grand on fucking underpants, you know, each year. Wow. You know what I mean? That, that's someone's wages over here. Yeah, fucking is, yeah. You know, it's, it's pissed to even think about it. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just another fucking life well, out there. Yeah. So. And, 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 his, and his boat that he had in the harbour at the time was worth 45 million. And there was a boat in the boat, so the whole back end just opened up when you drove in the boat. Wow. You know, just different... <laughs> Just different lifestyle. How, how often do you do that CP stuff then? Uh, like I was saying earlier, the CP work is very, very clicky. And unless you know someone in there, it's very hard to get in a team. Mm. But let's be honest, you. that's for the right reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, our mixed forces, and we were speaking before, weren't we? Like, yeah. It's just one of those, it's like door work. Even, even door work, you don't want a weak link on your door. No. Do you know what I mean? Because no. let's be honest, 
and I'm being old school here, but I want this to stay around because it's fucking yeah, right. Yeah. You don't want someone weak in your team, do you? No, 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 you don't. You know, and it's, it's just it's just how the world no. should be. And I won't, you, I won't get all political because. Yeah. <laughs> but you can get some good jobs. You can get some fucking shit jobs too. Yeah. Like I remember, and there was a job on. Um, see, I like I wasn't on this job, but it was a friend of mine, and he was looking after the sheik, and it was the last day of the job down London, and they went to like um, like a belly dancing mm. like bar or whatever. Anyway, uh, just before they left, they said to the three, three CP lads, because I'll get um, a couple of girls over to the hotel uh, to dance for us there. So he brings them over now, these two girls. Anyway, so they're dancing, dancing around now for these sheiks for about two hours. And she goes, I'll oh, just go to the safe for me and just bring me some money out. Anyway, so he brings out this fucking award of money now, like £50 notes. Anyway, right, they're making paper planes out of this out of these thingies and whatever they threw at these girls like the girls kept mm-hmm. they must have walked away with like two or three grand each <laughs> you know but because it was the last day of the job now the sheet goes to the CP guy he goes whatever is left in the safe just switch between you through and then three lads fucking had 14 grand each Fuck. so you can get some good jobs mm-hmm. but the job that I was on in Monaco man we got fucked over big time like we didn't get paid till three months after the job, mm. and apparently we were told after that we were all given five grand watches, and the guy who run the job kept them all. Yeah. And, I, and I've never seen him since. Yeah. No, he when he said he was X, X S E S. And about the time, um, our next door neighbour used to be instructor in, in like special forces, so I give him the name, and the name was Alan White. Nothing. I'm gonna say he's just a fucking cock. <laughs> you know, if he is listening, he, he's a fucking twat. And anyway, his name was Alan White. Anyway, so I give it to him to you know, do like a check on him. Yeah, nothing. And, and, no, that's a small community, like special forces. Yeah, yeah. So you don't fuck around with shit, yeah, like, do yeah. you? Like, it's, yeah. And so he blagged his, blagged his way in. And I thought it was strange on the job because every time they were going out, he was flapping like fuck. I think, why are you flapping so much? Have like, you done this yeah. for so many years? You know. Anyway, it fucking turned out that he was from um, uh, from a fucking Congleton way, and he used to be a bar manager. That was his fucking wow. job. So he blagged his way in, like. Yeah, but again, that's that thing, isn't it? Like, it, you, that that's not what you want, is it? Because you know your life depends on this stuff sometimes, doesn't it? I never forget one of my uh, lads who um, I was I was in the army at the same time as him. We weren't together though, but we, we knew each other. Big ginger, massive yeah. ginger lad. So he went on to do CP afterwards, yeah. and he got took on by a Chinese yeah. because apparently ginger means strength in China. Oh, does it? Yeah, right. in China. Right. but it's in, it's insane, isn't it? I mean, obviously, you know, he's such a lovely lad, but I won't say soft as shit. But he's not the artist. Do you know what I mean? He's not yeah. like he's not a rock hard yeah. man. He's not like a scary man. Yeah. He's he's more of a cuddly fun guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can fight and he can he's, yeah. he's fit and stuff. But so but it's just funny because when he got took on by them, he, he was just like, oh yeah, apparently ginger means strength. So I've like, yeah. you know. But I think it it it's been in the right place at the right time as well. Yeah. You know, you've got to just have that contact and that. Yeah. But I remember working the door and and I used to work with this guy. Um, I won't say his name, but he was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a Nazi. Mm. You know, he was, he was, he was, he was fucking ruthless. Mm. I went, um, we were in Brannigan's now, and he used to have a massive, just a massive queue in Brannigan's. Anyway, the door policy was like no, no trainers. Mm. Anyway, so the fucking queue's coming down now. This guy's walking down now with a wheelchair, with this guy in the wheelchair. Mm. Oh shit. So he fucking pulls him over. He goes, No, not tonight. He goes, Why? No trainers. And so the guy, the guy in the wheelchair, yeah? So the guy pushing the wheelchair, he goes, I haven't, I got shoes unlocked. He goes, Not you. Him. <laughs> in, in the, the fucking wheelchair. wheelchair. He was ruthless. Shit. And he just knocked it back. <laughs> because he had fucking trainers on. His fucking legs didn't even work. You know what I mean? He was fucking ruthless. <laughs> The but thing he, is, that's like right, but <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's like But he, he he was a diabetic and and the fucking thing with him as well, right? If he didn't take his meds, right? Mm. We actually caught him one night fucking trying to take the bandit out. Right, come on, you've had enough now, and he's fucking moving this bandit now, trying to get out. And we have to jump on him and fucking put a Mars bar. Yeah, just to, get his, just to get him out right again. Back up. Fucking hell. I know, he's fucking wow. 
but we've got some mad stories on the doors. So was Bandit banned after that one? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not allowed back in. I remember Brannigan's now, and, and we had a rugby team in. Yeah. I think they're about, about 25 of them, and they're all kicking off. Bear in mind, they just knocked one doorman out. So we got called for the front door now. I think there's about eight of us on the door. Anyway, so we had to really fucking fight to get these rugby Yeah, the rugby lads, aren't they? Like, they're used out. to it. Anyway, so we fucking slid them out the fire exit doors. And it took us half an hour now to get these lads out. Anyway, right, it all finished. We had a fucking warning after, a verbal warning. For being too rough. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking rugby so lads. been knocked out for the yeah. start. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like... You were yeah. always fucking fighting it. Yeah. But there was another incident there. And it was before my time, before I started. Um, so army lads went into Brannigan's. Anyway, they all kicked off. Mm. And they got them out. And the next day they said they were coming back. So the guy who was running the doors at the moment was like Gary Spires. And Gary Spires, some of you heard of him. A New Zealand guy. Mm. Martial arts thing, you know. You know. Anyway, I remember him now organising like, a coach load of fucking doormen. Right, so it pulls up outside the club. There's a 30 doormen fucking come off this coach. <laughs> I, I'm going back years ago when you get away with stuff. And there was a bag there now with all like fucking dusters, fucking bats, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And everybody got the butt, fucking took something out of yeah. this fucking bag. And they lined this pub from one end of it right round to the fucking corner to the other end of it. Anyway. Inside? No. Oh, outside, yeah. Outside the pub. Yeah. And and all these army lads were in the pub across the road. And the chief inspector of, of fucking Cheshire Police came down to the door to see this Gary Spires. Anyway, I remember Gary saying to him, he goes, I'm telling you, they are not getting in this fucking pub. <laughs> anyway, and they were all in black. Every fucking in black. They were all fucking tooled up. Anyway, so in the end, they had to get... Uh, the military police to come and get these fucking soldiers from the pub. Yeah, just take them out, yeah. Oh, he, he had a massive pull, a fucking massive pull. It's funny though, isn't it? When you, you know, when you look back at door, like Dorman days and stuff, it's like uh, it, there was a, there was a big thing, weren't there, about like you know Dorman have to be big, yeah. hard, and then this, that, and the other. Then it sort of like phased out, didn't it? And then it was all it went all PC. Yeah. But it, it's such a. I mean, obviously, it's not the same job at all now, is it, oh, compared no, to what it was? No, but no. years ago, it was actually quite good to respect a doorman, weren't it? Because it was one of the yeah. things where it was like... No, it's crazy, isn't it? And, and, and you know what? I'm going to say this. It's really harsh to say, but I mean, the doorman nowadays no. couldn't even throw my four-year-old lad out. And that's that... That's that so so thing, because like years ago, you only got a job by word of mouth. Oh, he's, yeah. he's, he's a good lad. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll try it. Yeah. I'm like, you know what I mean? But now... You, it's all too, yeah. yeah. You do you do a course and you get you get through. But it's then like, you can have a fight with someone, and the next day you can come back shaking hands. Amy, sorry about that. Yeah, and yeah, I, of course, of course. You, you, you're, here, doing now, job, you're doing your job then. It's all fucking phones. Oh, yeah, of course it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the, but I remember I, I finished the door this one night, and I actually lived in the town that I was working at. So I'm walking back down the street now. So I'm on my phone. Anyway, across the road now there's. Um, two lads and a girl anyway there's a brand new fucking Subaru there and they're booting this car I think you just think you fucking knobheads anyway and I'm on the phone to my girlfriend at the time as I'm walking down the street now they cross over now to mine I thought here we fucking go anyway so my girlfriend can hear what's going on as these lads have walked past me one goes you're a big fucker aren't you I thought here we go anyway <laughs> my girlfriend's on the phone saying Dale no no I said I'll ring you back I fucking clacked the fucking pair of them, didn't I? Bang, bang, bang. And this girl who was with him, Dale, Dale. I used to work with the dad. And she just knew who I was. And so I said to her, I said, hold on a minute. If I was a Joe Bloggs, these two pair of pricks would have fucking levered some lad for no reason. Yeah, but yeah. unfortunately, tonight, yeah, they picked me. the wrong fucking yeah. one tonight. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so remember now, about a week after, my brother in law works in Kellogg's. And he goes, oh, 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 you don't know this doorman who's um, battered these two lads, do you? Anyway, so he said the story. I said, I'll fucking tell you what the story is. This is what happened. Not what they're saying. Oh, yeah. all right. Oh, you know, they, they, are they yeah, twisted it? Yeah, then, yeah. they twisted it completely different. Of course. But if that were, would have been like an average guy, mm. yeah, would have got leather for no reason. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck you know. Well, the fuckers are. And, and I remember another time now. I've just done a bodybuilding um, competition. 
So I was in good nick. Yeah. And I was wearing like a tank top at the time. Anyway, just come out. We made some work on the door, so I just went in to see them. Well, I was actually going for a piss. And and as I walked in, this is where the spoon's now. There's like a group of lads. But as I walk past now, one goes behind me, walking like this. So I just turned around and said, what's the problem, mate? Next minute, they're all fucking on me now. About five of them. <laughs> And one's a Maori, big fucking Maori. Yeah. Turned out it was a rugby team. There was 26 of them in there. And anyway, so I've got these five <coughs> lads on me. Anyway, I don't know where you've been in, in like a fight. Normally, if you've got a lot of lads on you, mm. you don't really catch it because they're all fucking trying to get yeah, at you. Yeah, it's hands grab, aren't they? Yeah. So I just tucked in. I thought, right, I'll just wait. Anyway, so as I'm fucking fighting there now, the two doormen are fighting with the rest of them. So another three doormen from another pub all come fucking coming in anyway the fight went on for half an hour and I remember getting this fucking this Maori I, I just grabbed his bollocks and I fucking pulled him in <laughs> and then I was hitting him of course you don't feel all the no all, all the, 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 the blows anyway the yeah <clears throat> anyway so the police turned up wouldn't even come in the pub we had to chuck him out of the pub before the police would do anything anyway after it was all over I had fucking lumps all over my head they fucking tried to arrest me for it. I said, how the fuck does that work? I said, I, I'm on my own. <laughs> what I mean? So, um, and, and I remember the landlord fucking hiding me in the cellar. He goes, come down here. And he brought me a pint. I said, I can't drink a fucking pint. I'm fucking, it gives water. You know what <laughs> I mean? It. Keep me alive. But um, I've had some rights. Uh, it is funny looking back over the years though. Like, yeah. I've been lucky. Like, like it didn't work the door for, I think it was six years after. Like I was working this door and, and at the time I'd, I'd, I'd just done an unlicensed boxing match so I was doing quite a bit of boxing at the time and so I was a bit quicker than I would be normally and about the week before um, we'd had all the doors put through mm. all the windows of the pub we were in but I wasn't working that night and so three lads come down and they were up for it you know they were game for it like you know what I mean mm. so I hit the first one but I hit him here Anyway, I fucking, he was like out. Mm. And then I ended up having a ball with the other two. But the lad who ate first, who had the main thing, he was out for 25 minutes. I shit myself. Mm. I thought I killed him. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and the girl I was working with, like she was a paramedic, he'd fucking swallowed his tongue. So I was so thankful that she was there to fucking. Yeah, to, <laughs> to keep think straight, he would have been yeah, dead. Yeah. You know, I'd probably be doing fucking 10 years for her. A yeah. manslaughter. But that night, it fucking scared the life out of me. I, and I didn't work the doors for about six years after that. Really? Just fucking scared Just, just over that thought yeah, yeah. of what it, what it could have been, yeah. 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 It could be so much different. Yeah. But, I mean, I've got, I've got not a mate, I know someone who punched someone. He's actually a real soft guy as well, but yeah. he punched someone and killed him. He, he got done yeah. manslaughter. It's so easily done. And it is, I, isn't it? You know what? I haven't punched no one since. Hmm. I like tend to just fucking pin them down now or, or whatever. But we had an incident, I think it was about a year and a half ago, didn't we? Um, a new club had opened. I normally don't work the doors, but I'll normally just front it for a few weeks while it opens, mm. you know, till it all settles down and I go back to what I'm doing then. But we had an incident in there, some young kid, you know, like on the juice and that, coked off his head. Anyway, fucking wouldn't calm down at all. So I just fucking put him to the floor whereas years ago I probably would have fucking drilled him yeah 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 but as you get older yeah you're a bit more wiser yeah. I said just fucking calm down but as well sometimes that's all they need isn't it yeah. like anyway so just held him there for a bit and he was still up like a fucking bottle of pop but then we chucked him out and he was fucking come on and all, all that lot and he was going round I'm gonna fucking do the doorman in blah 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 <laughs> anyway so someone must have told him who was working the door blah 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 so he fucking passed the message get him to fucking ring me um, so about two weeks after the incident now he rings me up and he like apologises and I was calm as fuck on it on. I said listen mate I said I've been where you've been I said if you carry on doing what you're doing right, you're either going to kill someone or get killed <laughs> or, or you'll be in the fucking neck yeah. and I said just so you know you didn't walk out of that pub I let you walk out of that pub mm, yeah 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 you know, yeah. so don't be saying that you're doing the door. Yeah. I said, I let you walk out. Right, there was six of the door in there, I was going to fucking kill him. Mm. You know, so. But you do get wiser 
as you get older. No, you do. And we've, uh, and we've all been there, haven't we? Like, mm-hmm. fuck it, when I was 16, 17, going out and stuff, I was whacking blokes thinking yeah. that they were scared of me, but really, they're probably doing that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you, you thank it now, don't you, when you look back? Because back then, you thought you were Mr. E-Man, because it's like, yeah. yeah. But you don't realise how lucky that you've been. No, no, yeah, like, I like, agree. Like, for the, for some of the stuff I've done, you know, I should be in jail, but... Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. But, yeah, so you know, thank God, you know, yeah. it didn't go that way, but... It's so easily done. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah. Well, mate, really appreciate your time today. Welcome. It's been very good to speak to you. Yeah. Um, where, obviously, you've got you've got worlds this weekend. Yeah. Uh, this podcast won't be out by then anyway, so we're yeah. we're talking wrong dates. But watch him back on that because that will be for for when it is. But where else can people find you and follow you and um, get a log off you? Mainly, it's it's Instagram. I do all my business. Yeah. Like, yeah. Big dicks. Like, yeah. Big dicks. But I've normally got like a website, but to be honest, Instagram is your best bet. Yeah, to get it is. It's just easy, easy yeah. to go, yeah. 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 And, and normally the logs now, we can probably turn them on in like two weeks. Yeah. You know. But you are pushing for logs, like you are still doing a lot of logs, aren't you? Like yeah, they don't even have a size now, they just come to me. Yeah. I think it's good. I think it's only been getting the question that's doing them. Yeah, and, no, and it is, yeah. I think the only other one is, um, what's his name from Belfast? Monster Logs. I think he's fighting in the Ukraine war at the moment, isn't he? Oh, what, doing the wooden ones? Yeah. Oh, right, I literally didn't know there was another yeah, one. Yeah, Munster, up in Belfast. I've only got eyes for you, you see. I never oh, I never, right, I never even it, noticed yeah. they did it. Yeah. But, we the logs now, we don't need to measure nothing, we just do it, don't we? Yeah. You know, I, 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 you know we've knocked the times down. Yeah. Loads like. Plus, the way you've now done the new refurb logs, they're fucking bulletproof, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. You know, like a log should last you a lifetime. You know, yeah. you've just kind of been saying like any yeah. of the equipment and look after that equipment. Mm. Can I just say about where they put logs down? Oh, we had this discussion didn't we, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the fucking pads underneath the fucking plates. Under the plate, but you yeah. know, half and half. So half on the log and half on the thing. That's yeah. what you got to do. Yeah. And then the pins won't fucking move. Yeah, we'll do a demo video for you. <laughs> oh man, I tell people. Yeah, that. thing is, it's it, it's it's a. Uh, Simple science, isn't it? Because the weight hits that part, and that's where you want it to take. Yeah, because if the log stops, the weight on the pins is not gonna, still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to bend over. You know, yeah, it's yeah. Silly. And on that bombshell, <laughs> but mate, thank, thanks for having. Well, well, thanks for coming over. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll be we'll be releasing. But follow him, follow him on Instagram, and obviously anybody wants any logs, hit him up. Yeah, appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks, for man. Thank you.